What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the JDW Sports Talk Show where every fan is welcome in. Today's episode, we're going to be going through the Detroit Lions 2020 schedule, giving my overall thoughts on how they're going to do. So let me know what you guys agree, disagree with, with, with what they're going to beat and lose to. Um, And give me your record pr predictions down below for the Detroit Lions. And to be honest with you, man, I'm not a big fan of this Detroit Lions team. Um, I think that the offensive line can help them win a game or two, three. But other than that, man, you know, if Jared Goff has those times where Jared Goff is, you know, ha, they may win a few games. They may get an upset in there. Um, but when he's cold, man, he's a pretty darn below average quarterback, to say the least. Um, so week one at home versus the San Francisco 49ers, a really well coached team, um, a really balanced team. So I'm going to take the San Francisco 49ers week two or week one. Week two at the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to take the Detroit – no, I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers in week two over the Detroit Lions. Um, This is a Monday night game. i um, kind of surprised this was a Monday night game, but I'm going to take the Packers in that game. Week three, Lions are at home versus the Baltimore Ravens. Um, I'm going to give the Ravens the win here as well. Um, Like I said, man, I think the Lions have a really darn good offensive line. And that could help the rest of the team, really. It could help the run game. It could help Goff. It could help, you know, receivers get open. But I'm not a big fan of the rest of the team outside the offensive line. I'm really not. Um, Swift definitely has some um, potential. Hawkinson is a nice tight end. But, man, other than that, I don't see too much on this Detroit team. Um, You know, then you go to week four, to, they travel to Chicago. They're going to lose this game, in my opinion, as well. Um, I think that Chicago defense is going to do just fine. I think that Chicago offense is going to be able to score just enough. I think they're going to be able to run the damn ball on them pretty soundly. So I'll give it to Chicago there. Week five at the Minnesota Vikings. I'm going to give the Minnesota Vikings this one as well, man. Um, You know, the Vikings have, you know, a really good offense. And their defense could be enough. You know, I, I, I honestly think that any defense can be enough to – at least slow down this Detroit Lions offense or to stop it. Um, just not a big fan of it outside of the offensive line. I don't see too much. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying that. I'm taking Minnesota. Week six at home versus Cincinnati Bengals. This could be a team that the Lions could actually beat. Um, you know, their defense is probably going to struggle big time. And that's where, you know, they're going to take the loss. So I kind of gave them the benefit of the doubt. You know, the Bengals don't have great out, um, defensive line. Their linebackers are eh. Um, the corners are eh, their safeties. They do what I, I mean, their safeties are actually pretty, but outside of the safeties, it's eh, you know. Um, they did sign Trey Hendrickson, but the offense line is going to be fine, I think. But I'm still giving Cincinnati the win because I don't think that defense is going to be able to get a stop on that Cincinnati Bengals offense. Week seven at the Los Angeles Rams. Um, the new look Rams with Matthew Stafford. I'm giving the Rams the win here. Week 8 at home versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, this is a game I'm going to take the Detroit Lions in. I'm going to take the Detroit Lions because, you know, the Eagles um, team, right, their strength is their pass rush. And their pass rush is pretty darn good. It's it's definitely a top five pass rush. It's nasty. Um, the rotation is nasty as well. Um so teams that have decent offensive lines can really give the Eagles trouble. And I think Jared Goff is going to have a decent day on that Philly secondary, on that Philly team. Um, I'm going to take the the Lions in the first win over the Eagles from week eight. So week nine is their bye week. They go on the bye week with the win. Week 10 at the Pittsburgh Steelers. I can see them beating Pittsburgh as well. Maybe, um, you know, Pittsburgh, you know, it depends on how, how Pittsburgh is going to look. You know, are they going to look how they did in the second half of the season, or are they going to look how they did in the first half of the season? If they were the way they were in the second half, I think the Lions could beat them. But if they were in the first half, I think Pittsburgh's going to take this. But um, I'm going to take Pittsburgh. Um, I think that defense line is going to do fine in the offense line. I think they're going to get by wire C. I really like wire receivers and Steelers. Steelers tight ends have gotten better. Steelers whole line is. Eh, not a big fan. Um, big Ben, better than some people give credit for. They crap on him too much, but I'm going to the Steelers to win here. Week 11, at the Cleveland Browns, I'm going to take the Browns. Browns are Super Bowl contenders, in my opinion. 
not too much to talk about there. Week 12 at home versus the Chicago Bears. I'm taking the Bears again. <laughs> taking the Bears again, man. Week 13 at home versus the Minnesota Vikings. Going to take the Vikings. Like I said, man, not a big fan of this Detroit team. Outside of that offensive line, that tight end, maybe the running back once in a while. And, you know, with the quarterback, it's very hot and cold. It's very inconsistent with a very poor defense. I don't see the Lions do much. And then week 13 at home versus the Minnesota Vikings. I have them losing that one. Week 14 at the Denver Broncos. I kind of have them losing that one. Week 15, 16, 17, and 18. I'm having them lose all those games. I'm having them lose all those games, man. Yeah, I know. Like, you know, the Lions, they're a weird team, man. You know, their offense line is good. And the offense line can be enough to win a few games. Um, You know, maybe they do a bit pick. Maybe they do beat Pittsburgh. Um, other than that, man, really? Maybe Cincinnati. Maybe they get three wins. I, I think three wins is max. Three wins is max, man. Um, so that's what I got for the Detroit Lions record predictions. I didn't spend too much time because I don't have them doing very good. Not too much to talk about outside of their offensive line. So I thank you for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show. Every fan is welcome. And if you did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Put that post notification bell on. I'm doing every team. Um, I'm almost done with the, um, NFC North, then I'm going to the NFC South, and I'm done with my re record predictions, then I'm going on to, to predict the division, the division winners, uh, the playoffs, the Super Bowl, all that kind of stuff, my player rankings, and then, you know, just talking about some football, you know, so thank you for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where your fans welcome, as always, bada boom, bada boom, I'll catch you guys next time.